Eyewitness News with Dave Ward and Shara Fryer. Marvin Zindler's Action 13. Bob Allen has sports and Ed Brandon's weather. Now, Channel 13 Eyewitness News. A band-aid on a cancer, but the leadership in Austin think they've come up with a temporary fix for overcrowding problems in Texas prisons. They say they may also have found a way to improve prison conditions enough to avoid big fines. Our Wayne Dolgefino is standing by live now at the Capitol with more in this story. Wayne? Sharon, no one is suggesting here at the state Capitol tonight that we have solved our prison problems. This is, to all we talk to, a quick fix, a way to buy time. And that's one of the problems the critics have with all this. They say all lawmakers seem to have done the last five years is buy time and buy more time when it comes to the problem of overcrowding in state prisons. That uh, the early release policies of Mark White turning loose these hundreds, if not thousands, of, of prisoners on the streets of our metropolitan areas, particularly like Dallas and Houston, right here, Lock them up and throw away the key, the Clemens campaign theme. But new legislation endorsed by the governor and House and Senate leadership would offer new intensive probation programs. It could keep 2,000 from ever reaching prison. It wouldn't end early release, just change it. When prison population reaches 95%, parole officers could be more selective about who gets out first. The first to go under this bill, thieves, burglars, and hot check writers. Hardened criminals would go last. It may be the lesser of two evils to some, but the sponsors insist the streets will be safer. About 10 times as safe as they are today. The measures could keep prison doors open, but money would have to be spent for more probation officers and to appease Judge Justice, who's holding the state in contempt for unsafe prison conditions. 10 million would be spent on medical improvements and temporary housing would be set up. Total price tag of it all, $65 sure, million. Sure. Dollars. It, it shows that, that uh, the state is taking steps to keep its population balanced and to do it uh, with the best possible prisoner. No one claims this is a cure to prison problems, and to some, that's the problem. We're in a box where something has to be done. It does not in any way solve the problem, and uh, it's like putting a, a Band-Aid on a cancer. When you say we're going to turn out uh, a thousand people out of TDC who are not really bad, you know, uh, juries across the state have said they're bad enough to be in the penitentiary. It may be just a band-aid, but the leadership here in Austin says it's the only quick prescription they can come up with. Obviously, there has been mixed reaction to the prison bill all across the state today. Harris County, no exception. Deborah Wrigley back home as a sampling of the opinions. Every week, someone is convicted in the Harris County Court of a crime. And though violence is automatically associated with crime, it can be non-violent as well. For example, worthless checks, which Houston is seeing by the thousands. Last year, 81 people went to TDC for hot checks. That is one category of offender affected by the reform. Taken to the proposal's full extreme, the person who steals your car could fall into that category as well. It is a non-violent theft that could cost you money, but cost the thief just a few months supervised probation time. It comes at a time when law and order and maximum sentences are being demanded by the public. A judge known for listening to those demands is Ted Poe. I believe that the uh, low-level thieves uh, are glad to hear the news that they will not be sent to the Texas Department of Corrections. It is a mistake to refuse to send people to prison who ought to be there. But another judge says probation and first-time offenses are already synonymous. The people committing these crimes are streetwise. They know what is happening down the courthouse. And they know in these types of cases they're receiving probation anyway. So I don't think this would have made much difference at all in, in the way they, they look at committing these crimes. Then there is the Harris County District Attorney, who says he is no longer surprised by anything in the criminal justice system. Rather than not confine a burglar, uh, why don't we just repeal the law that makes it a crime to be a burglar? It would be just as smart, and in fact, maybe even smarter. At least it wouldn't promote disrespect for the law. Again, the plan is merely a proposal, but enough to make one judge threaten to speed up his docket. Get them into TDC while there's still time, he said. More to the point, if there's still room. Deborah Wrigley, Eyewitness News.